My entire life, I've wanted to be a treasure hunter, sailing around the world. Too many Disney movies made me think I couldn't just do anything I want in life. I could do everything. So, after leaving my hometown fire department at 19, I joined the Army as a combat medic in the infantry and served on the front lines of the war in Iraq from 2006 to 2009. Following my tours overseas, I met my best friend in the whole world, LC. She has crashed two marathons, been to more countries than most people, and has logged over 5,000 miles sailing offshore. We go everywhere again. But shortly after I met LC, my house burned down and I lost everything I had ever owned. So I bought a cave in Hawaii and we started an organic farm from scratch. HGTV even made a House Hunters episode about it. Kyle is ready for a total life change. Kyle doesn't want to be connected to the grid in any way. This is all you really need, right? Within a year, we were hosting volunteers from around the world. And with their help and the help of many friends, we built houses, roads, and fencing so we grow gardens, animals, and trees. Meanwhile, I went to the University of Hawaii to get a degree in agriculture, and even gave the commencement speech at my graduation. Our 2016 fall student speaker, Mr. Kyle James Davis. Thank you guys. Take your time and hurry up. We had amazing parties underground. My life was so perfect and comfortable that I got bored. So, I sold my cave farm, got a tattoo in 20 different countries, got my captain's license, got my scuba diving license, got my pilot's license, started metal detecting, hunting for treasure full time, decided to buy the perfect boat, drove the entire length of the US three times looking for the perfect boat, met with over three dozen yacht brokers, bought a 50 foot tie on flying Dutchman covered in snow in Maine, christened her the Emerald of Pleiades, immediately broke the engine, spent the summer installing a new engine, put together a crew, headed south from Maine in the snow, immediately ran aground, made it to Annapolis in the snow, left Annapolis in a snowstorm, made it to Florida, immediately ran aground, got struck by lightning. We just got struck by lightning. Got towed by the Coast Guard, spent eight months replacing the mast, rigging, and electronics, left Florida during hurricane season to sail for Aruba, lost all power on day three, lost our propeller and the shaft during a storm at 3 a.m. on day 11, took water up to our engine and almost sank off the coast of Venezuela, almost died plugging the hole from underwater on the outside in the dark, made 130 miles of progress over the following seven days of sailing, made it just offshore of Aruba, got towed in by the Coast Guard again, couldn't get hauled out in Aruba, got towed back out, sailed for Curacao still with no propeller, got towed in one more time, got hauled out in Curacao, got a new propeller and shaft, Started exploring the island. Discovered beaches full of rare sea glass. Started a sea glass business on Facebook. Discovered the bulkheads of my boat had eliminated and all the carpentry was coming apart. Took off the mast and tore out the entire interior of my boat. Discovered the inner and outer hole had separated and the inner core had filled with water. Got dropped by my insurance company. Refiberglass the interior of the boat. COVID lockdown in Curacao. Flew to an empty airport in Canada. Slept in a hammock in an empty airport. Collected sea glass all over the US. Went to Puerto Rico to hunt for sea glass. Went to Aruba to hunt for sea glass. Made it back to Curacao. Started rebuilding the interior of my boat. COVID locked down in Curacao again. Back to Aruba for more sea glass. And now, after nearly two years in Curacao, I am almost ready to sail again. We are sailing around the entire world searching for untouched sea glass beaches. We're finding all sorts of adventure and trouble along the way. We find some of the rarest colors and pieces on earth, like reds, oranges, turquoise, UV, amberinas, marble, stoppers. Never know where we might go, what we might see, or who we might meet. I'm Kai, and this is Board Pirate.